Welcome. Our topic coverage in this review questions is all about data analytics for local treasury, specifically in revenue forecasting and modeling. Number 1. What happens if the payback period is shorter than the economic life of the asset? A. The investment would not be bringing in any income. B. The LGU is expected to realize profit or investment return. C. The investment is considered a losing proposition. D. The asset is considered to have no scrap value. Answer, B, if the payback period is shorter than the economic life of the asset, the LGU is expected to realize profit or investment return between the payback period and the economic life. Number 2, what is the annual cash inflow from project operations? A, the total amount of cash a project generates. B, the amount of cash a project generates in its first year. C. The amount of cash a project generates in its last year. D. The amount of cash a project is expected to generate annually. Answer. D. The annual cash inflow from operations is the amount of cash a project is expected to generate annually. 3. What does the ESRE system stand for? A. Electronic Statement of Receipts and Expenditures. B. Enhanced System for Revenue Estimation. C. Efficient Solution for Regional Efficiency. D. Economic Sustainability and Resource Efficiency. Answer, A, the ESRE system stands for Electronic Statement of Receipts and Expenditures. It is the system through which the statement of receipts and expenditures is generated for monitoring LGU financial performance. Number 4, which area is not covered by the new LGFPMS? A. Revenue Indicators B. Expenditure Indicators C. Debt and Investment Capacity Indicators D. Personnel Management Indicators Answer, D. The new LGFPMS comprises revenue indicators, expenditure indicators, and debt and investment capacity indicators. It does not cover personnel management indicators. Number 5. What assumption is made when using the estimated model parameters for forecasting purposes? A. The LGU revenue and expenditure structure will remain stable over the forecast period. B. The LGU revenue and expenditure structure will change significantly over the forecast period. C. The LGU revenue and expenditure structure is not relevant for forecasting purposes. D. The LGU revenue and expenditure structure is unknown. Answer. When using the estimated model parameters for forecasting purposes, it is assumed that the LGU revenue and expenditure structure observed since the advent of the local government code will be stable over the forecast period. For more videos like this, please like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. Comment your questions and clarifications below. For the continuation of this video, please see the link in the comment section.